All right, folks, we're back. Three pound fishing, baby. And we've been finding them shallow, and that's where we're gonna go find them again today. It's just an amazing thing when you think about it. winter fishing. Now, granted, the water temperature is not crazy warm right now, but I can tell you, to find them this shallow, three, four foot, has been an absolute joy the last two weeks. It's been amazing. Right along with me, check it out. The deals on the websites, threepoundfishing.com, sniping braid, hog fishing, all those deals are still going on before Christmas, so check those out. Great opportunities to get good discounts. Even I believe the beanies are on sale. And we got a fantastic morning, check it out. It just doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. There's our first fish. Well, we got it on structure. Good fish here. Good fish coming up. Look at that structure coming up. Good night. This is a good fish. This could be picture fish. Oh. Finding structure shallow is first key. We're only in 10 foot of water right now. This structure goes all the way up to eight foot, but that is a freaking great looking fish. And you, you target that structure and they're gonna be swimming around that structure basically. And they're gonna go all the way up shallow. And I've, what I found is actually the fish that are not on the structure are the bigger fish. We're letting them go today, are the bigger fish. Doesn't always hold true, but I mean, that guy actually, I think, came from underneath the structure. But regardless, I'm targeting structure, but then I'm then I'm looking shallow and I'm looking for those weed edges. And I'll show you those weed edges here later today. See the guy moving in the middle of the pack? Yep, here he comes. And we got one down low. And now I'm thinking the one down low is gonna be the more aggressive one. Here he is. You're getting a lot of that today. Now you look at that structure right there. That thing is just full. You could stay here probably all day, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna move past it. Let this fish go. We're gonna move past it and we're gonna be looking for crappie along this weed edge, which I know there's a weed edge out here. And I tell you what, it just seems like those fish get really big when they get up on this weed edge. And right now we don't have a very active bite, to be quite honest with you. Um, I was out here yesterday and caught a limit extremely quick. And it was an aggressive bite. And now I know what to, I can completely understand what to compare it to. <laughs> and when you're throwing a bait in and you're catching a fish every cast and you're watching these fish just go at it so crazy, uh, this is definitely not an aggressive bite, which is okay. This is probably typical, right? So this is, this is what you're looking at probably on a daily basis most of the time. But I'll tell you what, the size has definitely gotten better. These fish are starting to feed up and water temperature wise, 48 degrees. Now check it out up here, 48 degrees right here. Uh, it, it really doesn't get much better than that. I love the low 50s. Uh, anything in the low 50s is extremely good water temperature for crappie. All right, so I'm gonna scan this down just so you guys can really see these, this weed edge. So there's the weed edge, right? And you can clearly see there's a fish in here. Um, but what I like to do is scan away from the weed edge and you start looking for structure in these fish that are just roaming around here. And I'll tell you, you will find a bunch of them. And when you find that load, you know, that, that school of crappie that are just hanging out down right below the weed edge, those guys are the ones that are just awesome. And you can actually cast right over this weed edge and grab these crappie that are right in the beginning of it. Obviously, the further you get into the weed edge, the higher up in the water column, you're gonna to have to keep your bait, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't see a terrible amount of fish in that weed edge, so we're just cruising around. That's all we'll do is we'll search with live scope. I will mark these areas. You know, when I find a spot like this, it seems like there's just a ton of fish here for, you know, I don't know why. I guarantee you when they're really aggressive, this will be a really great spot. There's one right there. Um, So I do mark a, a very aggressive spot for whatever reason it is. 
even though I don't know of any structure, I really don't know of any structure that's that's here, but they seem to like this little spot. They didn't like it the last hundred yards, but they like this spot. So I mark it and that's what I do. Mm. Just another great fish. That's what we're doing, fishing the weed edges right now. We're down in the dirt. You can actually just bounce it around in there. Man, maybe having a weed guard on your hook might be a good idea. I've tried those, they just seem to be a little bit of a hassle, but certainly a play here. But you can keep right on top of the, the weeds or right in them and bounce around them. I'll tell you what, they almost really do like, I don't even think they honestly like what I'm fishing with right now, but sometimes they just can't help themselves. And when you bounce into a weed and then you come crazy over a fish, it's almost like I have to react to it. It's pretty wild. I have not shown all the catches. Again, I favor out here without the weeds, right off the weed edge. But sometimes you have to get into those weeds. And these weeds, there's some right there. Look at that, got that guy. He's a good fish, he should be a good fish. He's marking well anyway. That's a good fish right there, look at that. Solid fish, winter fishing, shallow, four foot. Now don't get me wrong, I've got episodes right now that we're catching them 35, 40 feet um, that I haven't released. I don't know if I will those, those are totally different videos, but I can tell you, you can catch them any which way you want when they're fishing. And right now we're at four foot and uh, catching slabs, slabs, it doesn't get much better. Now, 10 footer, always 10 footer, right? We all know that three pound fishing, fishes with the 10 footer. I, I, I just absolutely love it. Sniping braid, check that out. All these discounts are going on right now. You can't get a better deal. I've chosen to upgrade my, uh, I shouldn't say upgrade, but upsize my jig head. That's a 1 16th ounce, but with no split shot. So when I fish this shallow, I do not fish with a split shot. Just playing with baits today, I have played with every bait in my tackle box. I've always said that I don't just fish with three pound fishing tackle. Uh, in terms of plastics, I will throw just about everything at them to find out if there's something that makes them work a little harder for the bait. Uh, I, I was throwing a curly tail yesterday, uh, actually earlier today even, and yesterday actually. And you know, they just, they didn't want to finish on the bait. It seems like they'd come up, sniff the tail, maybe nip it barely but they would not close the deal so i'm playing around with just about everything today the blue monkey on three pound fishing tackle without a doubt is hitting the hardest and that cajun crazy and if i don't know if i've shown the other episode yet but i outline that in another episode where those two are on fire so i do want to take the opportunity to tell you about the electronics i still get questions about monitors and stuff like that during guide trips which i expect that'll happen for quite some time until everybody has live scope. But I use the 8600 series. This is uh, top of the line for Garmin. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it for everybody. I recommend the 126 SV. And if you're on a budget, the 1222. To me, size screen always will matter. And so I totally recommend you uh, go with a 12 inch screen if you can do that. Um, more so than anything else, 12 inch is the most important. Start at the GPS series. Uh, which is the lowest tier. Uh, then you can upgrade to the Ultra, which is the one I do recommend, the 126 SV. And then this is the 8600 series. 8600 series um, is a great unit. It's just not as uh, efficient and convenient as the 126 SV. In my opinion, their images are similar. Now you can get all this information on a Facebook group called LiveScope, everything you need to know. And I'll put the link here on the screen for that, that group. That group talks about the, the equipment, the cornfield crappie gear mounts. If you have a question about live scope, it's everything you need to know about live scope. And you can go back and look at the topics and the things that we had talked about. Um, so check it out, subscribe to that channel. People don't know enough that I spend a lot of time on the other uh, internet I don't know what you call them, searches and the groups and Facebook and TikTok and all that stuff. There's three pound fishing, everything everywhere. But that group on Facebook is really the place to go to get a lot of things answered in regards to, to LiveScope and these monitors and the transducers. A lot of people ask, 
LVS 32 versus the 34. Well, those answers are on that group. So. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that. That was awesome. That was an awesome to watch that fish just pop out of that weed edge and go right to the bait. And that is a good fish. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. You guys rock. Please subscribe. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy your families. Very important. Very important. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.